wasn't paying attention. Walked right out of the grass. <laughs> It would be nice if we could go out of the city because there's a lot of trainers right outside Pewter City to go train up against, and it's nice that way. I like doing trainer battles to level up Pokemon far more than just, you know, walking around in the grass. But it's all good. Plus, that'll be a new area and a new chance to catch another Pokemon. Speaking of, I don't know. I don't know who's going to be my ideal starters you know getting towards late game maybe we'll talk about that a little bit as we're getting through this just to break up some of the monotony um because right now obviously um bulbasaur will eventually become ivysaur which will be eventually become venusaur and that's obviously going to be one of my main ones like you got to have your starter in there there's no reason not to and i picked bulbasaur specifically because um he's actually one of the best pokemon to take into the elite four um, first person, um, has a lot of water type Pokemon, and so that already gives me a type advantage, even if they do use ice attacks. Um, Venusaur eventually gets a lot of special defense that helps, you know, prepare for that. Um, and then, you know, other Pokemon I want, might want to bring in, just kind of depends on a lot of who I actually find, but I really do like using Geodude. Uh, that becomes a Graveler. I find them really useful, and it's nice having a solid rock type to Pokemon. Not to mention they can learn um, Magnitude, that's really good. Um, and besides Magnitude, eventually you get a TM for Earthquake, and that's just a really strong ground type move. And so ground comes in handy in like the Fire Gym. Um, and honestly, it's just a strong move overall when it comes to that. And then, I honestly might hang on to Eli as long as he survives, um, just to have a Psychic-type Pokemon. But, you know, I have a chance to catch an Abra in the future, for example. Just kind of depends. That's going to be hard, though, because finding Abras out in the wild, you just you either have to, you know, put them to sleep immediately or throw a Pokeball and just hope that you catch them because they're faster than you. You're just SOL, like, right off the bat. Ooh, nice critical hit. Good job, Chance. Oh, I just realized they're already level 10. Um, oh well. We'll throw Mankey back out in a second. Alright. Here we go, Brynn. And then once we get you up to level 10, we'll head back to the Poke Center, heal Eli again, and repeat the cycle. <laughs> Until he's a level 10. And then we'll just move forward. And actually, fighting is super effective against normal types, so this would probably... Yep. Mm. One hit KO. Keep it going, Bryn. I'm really excited about Mankey on the team. I actually might keep Mankey all the way through because I love having a fighter type on the team. Um, they come in super handy. Particularly since the second person in the Elite Four has a few Rock-type Pokemon also fighting... But I'll make sure I have a flying-type Pokemon to take on the fighting-type Pokemon, but otherwise Britain's going to be, for sure, a huge advantage when it comes to going up against rock-type Pokemon. Um, what else is fighting good against? I never remember. I want to say... No, it's not poison. At least I don't think so. It's always so hard to remember all the type advantages, because there's so many. Um... Like, all I know for sure is that fighting super effective against normal and rock. And then it seems like it's not too bad against poison, but it's not like a type advantage if you have fighting against poison. Depends on the situation. Alright, let's get you up to level 10, Eli, and then you'll evolve into a nice, lovely Butterfree and learn Confusion. That's, that's the goal right now. At least is what I remember. If I'm wrong and you don't learn confusion until like level 12, that's going to be, you know, a bummer. But it's all good. Uh, you're supposed to stay in Viridian Forest. <laughs> I mean, I was, you know, grinding all the way up in here. 
and there was none of you out here until I went to Verdian Forest and then I came back out of Verdian Forest because I wanted to get away from you guys and now you're out in this grass. Like, that I accidentally leave the door open and you guys just kind of like waddled on in. That's what it's feeling like happened. But you're like my least favorite right now. As far as like, you know, my tolerance level for idiocy. You don't do that much damage, but I just hate the fact that you can poison me. It's the worst. But as long as you're going to keep being dumb and using string shot, I'm fine with that. Shablam. If you guys ever feel like it in the comments, so you can tell me like what area has like your favorite um, background music. Like I kind of like the music on most of the routes. It's pretty fun to sing along to sometimes. Man. And then like certain cities just have really good music too. That just kind of stick with you. Listen, no one's been throwing sand in your face. I wonder if speed also has to deal with accuracy. I don't think that's the case. That would be an interesting double feature, I guess, if speed dealt with uh, accuracy. I don't think that's the case. Alright. And then we're going to be boring and run back up to the Poke Center after this just because can, and there's no reason to be risky right now on these dumb grind battle battles. Sorry, sir, I didn't mean to bump into you. <laughs> All right. I forget sometimes you should talk to everyone inside of a Poke Center because sometimes they give you something interesting or ask for a trade. Like, what do you think, guy with the Jigglypuff? Yawn! When Jigglypuff sings, Pokemon get drowsy. Me too. <laughs> yep. That makes sense. Good times. Adorable. All right. Hi. Glad to meet you. That's unfriendly of you. How about saying hi back? I'm a mute. So, come on, tell me about yourself. I'd love to hear your profile. Tell me something about yourself. What's your profile? Uh, info. A profile is written using four words or phrases. Oh, I didn't realize that was a thing. There's plenty of words to choose from for your profile. The words and phrases are placed in several convenient groups. First, choose a group, then choose a word or phrase. It's easier than it sounds. Why don't you try it? Tell me something about yourself. What's your profile? All right. I am a Pokemon friend. What other words we got? I am a people friend. I am a feelings friend, endings friends, conditions friends. <laughs> oh dear. Adjectives. <laughs> All right. Um, Pokemon friend's a good one. What other words we got in here? I'm a Pokemon trainer, battle. I'm a Pokemon battle. Pokemon speech, feelings. Yeah, I'm a Pokemon friend. That's, uh, honestly, that's pretty good. Alright, I thought I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Back to the grind. Rapid. Level four. Let's get it. At least it looks like we're about over halfway. That's always good. You know, as opposed to being under halfway. <laughs> Oh, flip. 
You know, I I wonder if it would be better if I just didn't talk in these videos. Because it seems all I do is jinx myself. Okay. So help me if I have to. I'll just throw Metapod out first and just immediately swap to, like, Brynn or something like that. Just to get through these battles. Freaking Weedle. Alright, let's get it. you want to do a string shot me, that's fine. question is, do I feel like 15 health is enough to get back to the Poke Center? It probably is. Okay. No dying, no dying, no dying, no dying, no dying. And we're good. to remind myself what is also, what ground is weak to. I don't know if ground is also weak to grass. Like, I don't know if that's a shared thing. Like, I know it's weak to water, but I can't remember if it's weak to grass. Alright, nice. Hopefully easier battle. The fact that it still does 4 damage to me is insulting. I guess it's three to four damage. Oh, that was so low experience. A level three. Then we'll get a level four, then a level five. We'll see what happens. That would be funny if that happened. Yep, I think I'll just swap. I think I'll just swap, get that last little bit of experience. Then we'll go take on the first trainer, see how we do against him. Level two, maybe we can do this on our own. And that tail whip is always scary, especially since I'm sure I'm gonna need at least two attacks. Maybe it'll tail whip me again. There we go. All right, I got this one on the back. And it was a critical hit. I got the critical hit, so suck it, Ratatata. All right, level 10. Yay, and we're evolving. Let's get it. Good job, Eli. You did it all on your own, too. Not pushing any buttons, because I do want this evolution to happen. Excellent. And learn confusion. Perfect. All right, running out of here, healing up. Let's go take on that trainer. A little bit more excitement. Should be good. Good thing about rock Pokemon going up against them is that they're also usually a bit slower. And so you can get those special attack moves in right off the bat. Let's see. I think I'll keep Butterfree out first. Because I think the Geodude won't have any Rock-type moves to freaking crush my Bug-type Pokemon. But he'll also get really hurt by the Confusion. So, here we go. Hiya! Do you want to dream big? Do you dare to dream of becoming the Pokemon champ? Heck yeah. <laughs> I'm no trainer, but I can advise you on how to win. Let me take you to the top. 
Sure. All right, let's get happening. The first Pokemon out in a match is at the left of the Pokemon list. That makes sense. By changing the order of Pokemon, you may gain the, an advantage. Try different orders to suit your opponent's party. Nice. Good stuff. This is Brock. Ah, so Paper Lock has already been through here, apparently. I just remembered, we might be able to go back down. Oh, I don't know if I want to go back down through the Viridian Forest, though, and try and take on paperwork now. That sounds dangerous, so we'll just keep it up here. All right. So we got Eli out first. He's got the most health of everyone, but he's also the highest evolved of all my Pokemon, so that would make sense. All right. Stop right there, kid. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. Camper Liam would like to battle. All right, Camper. Are you a happy Camper? Okay, level 10 Geo, dude. This should be a pretty even battle then. Confusion. Not bad. Okay, kind of a similar thing. I don't know how much defense curl affects Confusion. It says this is a special attack, and defense uh, defense curl only affects regular defense. So it's hard to say. Nice. You know what? Let's let's keep this good thing going. Level eleven. We're a little faster. We hit pretty hard. Let's see how much damage that scratch does. Decent amount, but not as much as my confusion. So let's just okay, use a sand attack. All right, Eli, don't miss. Nice. Very nice. Good job, Eli. Nice. Darn! Light years isn't time, it measures distance. Still not 10,000 light years, but anyway. I got 220 Pokebox. Nice. All right, what do you gotta say now? You're pretty hot. Well, thank you. But not as hot as Brock. That seems fair. It's probably got... Wait for it. Rock hard abs. <laughs> All right. Anyways, rock hard abs. Yeah, joke's done. Okay, we're gonna heal. You know what? I'm feeling <sighs> like I'm feeling good, but I'm also scared. So like, I think I need to at least get Bulbasaur. Um, so Chance and Bryn up to level eleven, just in case. And we'll take him on. But Butterfree is going to be definitely an asset to the team. Takes a little bit of time, but worth it. Worth it. Worth it. All right, Mankey. Little Bryn. Let's go commit some more genocide of Pokemon in this grass area. <laughs> I know. Got really dark. I'm sorry. even a crit. I guess that's what happens when you're, you know, eight levels ahead of something. And you're a minky. Let's see how we do against level three. Barely held up.
No, oh, I used a scratch when I should have used a low kick, but it didn't matter. <laughs> how high Mankey's attacks are. Brin in general is just makes it so go by so much faster. Just stinks that everything on here is so low level. And so getting experience is a lot more slow going, but at least the battles are fast. I have to wonder what happens. Do I have that option? I don't imagine. Check speed is fast. Oh, what happens if I switch that off? Like, I'll switch it back on, obviously, for the gym battle. I just kind of want to see what happens when I do that. Let's see, so I just do a low kick. It doesn't really make anything faster, it just... I mean, I guess for some of those attacks that have a little bit more animation, it makes it faster, but, like, low kick's not exactly a big animation, let alone scratch. But, oh well, I was just curious about it. I'll turn it back on before too long. Like, that almost seems like it takes longer in certain instances. Almost there. Back, I think I'm just going to turn it back on now. Good times. Whoops. Silly me. Try again. Battle style shift, set, shift, set. I kind of like that blue. Alright, anyways. I gotta admit, I really like that blue. I should probably do it. Ooh, ooh, level 11. And learn karate chop. Very nice. Always good to have more fighting type moves. Pidgey since Pidgey is a flying type and grass is weak against flying. I do want to test it out on maybe like a Ratatata or something. Just because Chance's special attack is technically higher than his regular attack. There we go. The game only likes to listen to me. For better or for worse. Okay. Very nice. Okay. 
Dragon Battles will be there. Thank you all for who's been hanging out so far. You know, this has probably been less than exciting, but it's all good. I think as long as the gym goes by quickly enough that I'll ward everyone by also going and fighting a few people and maybe trying to catch my fifth party member out in the grass over in that direction after we get through this city get my boulder badge be great be great if I can stop going up against level twos get a little bit more experience in 15 but it's still getting there we're inching Vine would only had 10 uses as well. It's crazy to me. There's my level 5. Now that I could have done at level 2. But it's all good. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's going to be a critical hit. I'll swap out if I need to. I think we got him on this one now. Perfect. Okay, I want to say that Brock's Pokemon are levels 12 and 14. But the deadly combo is just going to be sending out Chance first. Take out the Geodude with a one or two Vine Whips. I'm hoping this is going to be one. Um, especially since we're only going to be one level underneath that Geodude. Um, and then I'm hoping that I'll send Chance out after that, since Rock-type not only is weak to fighting, but also, um, their attacks don't do as much damage. I guess I don't know what it means to be weak to fighting, but... Alrighty, so... Let's go ahead and... Yep, Chance is out first. For sake of continuity, we'll make sure we got Brayden second. <laughs> That should be good. And I'm going to hit save here. Don't want to lose any uh, of the advancement that we've got here. I think we're two hours and 33 minutes. Craziness. All right. So here we go. It's time to go up against Brock. Let's see how this goes. So you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type. <laughs> You're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's a trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. Show me your moves. Except for this is not Captain Falcon. Can we just have some Brock appreciation really quick though, like from a TV show? Yes, he's kind of like, for the majority of the time, like just the one who tries to chase all the girls around. But like, let's think of like when we meet Brock. Like he's straight up, um, you know, was taking care of like all of his siblings like the whole time. While his deadbeat dad was gone. Yep, that's what I thought was going to happen. Straight up. Just took that down immediately. And automatic level up for chance. Gosh dang. Almost make me feel bad now that I'm giving the, you know, Brock appreciation. Oh, did not get a chance to swap. That's interesting. Usually it gives me a chance to swap Pokemon between when I defeat one. Well, you know... Is what it is. We'll keep main key for the rock cave or Mount Moon. There's lots of rock type in there and they can train up against them. So, I mean, I'm not going to risk swapping main key out right now. We're just going to keep vine whipping. Oh, especially since I'm going to be bound and, you know, can't leave. All right. And, yep, that did it. Woo. Yeah. Gosh dang. I was really worried about this gym and then all of a sudden just, you know, breezed right through it. Good job, Chance. 
And congratulations to me. That's my freaking first gym badge for Nuzlocke. Before we move on, quick other appreciate. Well, nah, we'll, we'll move on for now. I took you for granted, and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I confer you on you this. The official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. Seth received the Boulder Badge from Brock. All right. Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables you to use Flash, the Flash move, in outside of battle. Of course, a Pokemon must know the Flash move to use it. I got 1,400 Pokebox for winning. Gosh dang, that's a lot more antidotes. <laughs> well, actually not that many more, but it's all good. Wait, take this with you. TM39 from Brock. Put in my team case. A TM technical machine contains a technique for Pokemon. Using a TM teaches the move it contains to a Pokemon. A TM is good for only one use. So, when you use one, pick the Pokemon carefully. Anyways, TM39 contains Rock Tomb. It hurls boulders at the foe and lowers its speed. Anything else to say? There are all kinds of trainers in this huge world of ours. You appear to be a very to be very gifted as a Pokemon trainer. So let me make a suggestion. Go to the gym in Cerulean and test your abilities. Sweet. You got anything to say? Just as I thought, you're a Pokemon champ material. They got my name on here now? Yeah. Anyways, finishing up the thought on Brock. And the fact that he's also pretty gosh darn cool. Um, 